Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Luke Ness Monster. Today we'll be reviewing the Star Wars The Black Series Bad Batch Hunter. So, of course, this guy is the uh, first figure in the Bad Batch wave for the New Galaxy packaging. And I gotta say, the uh, like deep red uh, maroon color for this uh, this packaging for the Bad Batch just looks amazing. I really like that. And it really matches the like armor and that nice red color that uh, they like Bad Batch is kind of going with. So I'm glad they picked that color. It's pretty spot on. Anyway, of course, it does say Hunter and Bad Batch on the front right there with the Black Series logo at the top. Flip it to the side. We have that amazing image of Hunter there. I'm really digging that. It looks nice. On the back, we do have this massive sticker from Target that I put on the back, which does kind of suck. But you can still see the bio, so you can pause it and uh, read it if you would like. i got to make sure it can focus. So there we go. You can pause it and read it if you like. And we do have that nice uh, picture of Hunter there on the back as well. Not very much on the side, flipping it back around, we have Hunter. So let's get this guy open and see what he looks like. So we do have Hunter out of the box, and I have to say, he's looking really, really nice. Um, I do want to go over all the different accessories that comes with him, because he does come with a fuse, but that will be in just a second. I also want to do a comparison between this guy and some of the other clones we've gotten in the Black Series. But first, I do want to take just a close look at all the detail and articulation that this guy has. And uh, he's just looking really, really nice. I've heard a lot of people complaining about, like, his head is way too big, and, uh, you know, it's just more of an animated look where Black Series should be more realistic. And I think uh, Hasbro did pretty well on this figure. I think... The, the helmet is just a little bit oversized, but other than that, I think the proportions are pretty good. And um, I think that this guy's getting way too much hate. I think overall he's a pretty nice figure and uh, definitely an upgrade from some of the previous clones we've got in the past. Y anyway, let's go and take a close look at all the detail and articulation that this guy has. Anyway, taking a close look at Hunter here. Um, it's definitely hard to see on camera, but he has so many different, like, nicks and, uh, scratches and stuff on him. That just looks super nice and add a whole level of, like, texture to this figure. Definitely see on his, like, ab, uh, abdomen there. Definitely see, definitely see it on the chest here, too. It's just very, very nice and adds a whole nother level to this character. Um, he does have some very good articulation. You can go pretty much all the way up with his arms because that shoulder pad does uh, move out of the way when you do that which is very nice uh, definitely uh, missing out on that I don't know what the heck just happened there we, we fixed that but uh, yeah definitely some better updated articulation his elbows get a nice like 45 degrees which is great I've been hating on those clones that can't even get 90 it's just so annoying but this guy's a very nice natural like 45 degrees it's great um, of course, he does have this very nice helmet. I will get a close-up on the helmet there. Very, very nice. I'm uh, not a big fan of, like, Hunter's just helmet design in general. I think the figure's helmet is pretty nice, but, like, just the design in general. I think I much would have rather, like, uh, Star Wars picked a either, like, clone commando helmet to give him or uh, just a normal clone helmet. I don't like his own, like, custom helmet. It's just really weird. And that's more on the character himself than the figure, but he is pretty cool. He does have, of course... Uh, little like knife weapon storage here which is really cool I'm glad they decided to add the weapon storage because they did not for the pistol he comes with but uh, the knife weapon storage is uh, nice it is weird placement though it like overhangs onto his wrist it's just weird placement in my opinion but we do have this nice uh, like commando backpack and uh, it has very nice details as well my main complaint is it looks a little too thick maybe just a little bit thinner would be nice but other than that it is pretty cool and uh, yeah leg articulation pretty nice it is single jointed and um, because of that it does have that p uh, pinless look which just looks really really nice um, of course it does have some like ab crunch and swivel there head can look up that much down that much and his leg can kick out pretty much all the way and do the splits anyway taking a close-up on hunter's face here it looks very nice I gotta say uh, definitely see the Tamor Morrison in him here close more on like the uh, left side of his face there uh, I do like the tattoo on the side too it's looking very nice and um, yeah definitely can see the Tamora Morrison in him I'm actually digging the uh, mullet too the mullet's looking really really nice I like that I love the headband as well it just looks super cool and uh, yeah I gotta say pretty nice figure overall and uh, just for comparison here is Hunter next to Captain Rex I both have that Tamora Morrison face and uh, I think the biggest difference between the two is the skin tone but other than that I think the faces are pretty similar and he do get that more of the uh, uh, Tamora Morrison face out of Hunter I think the biggest difference between the two is uh, Hunter has more of like a slimmed down face he looks like he has some like 
slimmer cheeks like on the side here where Captain Rex has more of a uh, thicker chin if uh, that's how you want to put it but uh, yeah other than that I think the faces are pretty similar I mean you know of course not including the massive tattoo and going back to the hunter helmet I think it's a little too big I gotta say um I think they kinda went with more of that am animated style with him where you know has bigger different features in the animated uh, universe there and uh, they gave him too big of a helmet I think and I do definitely agree a lot of people thought Rex's helmet was oversized when Rex came out and uh, it won't even go on hunter's head that's as far as it can go so um yeah I gotta say I think his Helmet is just a little bit too big. I think the face looks fine with, of course, the helmet off, but with the helmet on, it just looks really, really big. And uh, that's what happens when you push it all the way down. It looks like he has no neck. So you have to pull it up just a little bit. That was a little too much, though. There you go. And uh, it makes him look a little bit like more natural, make it look like he actually has a neck. Anyway, first up here is Hunter next to uh, Captain Rex here. We do have confirmation Captain Rex will be in the Bad Batch show, so hopefully we do see the two together quite a bit. And here is Hunter next to Commander Cody, which we did see in uh, the Season 7 arc with the Bad Batch there. And hopefully we do see Commander Cody return in the Bad Batch, but um, there is no confirmation yet, but they are looking really nice together. And then last up here is Hunter next to the 332nd, just to, just, just to be the 332nd. 30 second because I think they look pretty cool together. Anyway, these are the three accessories that he does come with, uh, not including the helmet or backpack. He, could, he does come with the, uh, of course, just standard blaster pistol that a lot of the clones come with, so nothing new, and honestly, I kind of wish they didn't include this because there's no weapon storage for him at all. Maybe a, ho a holster would have been nice, but they didn't really include anything to do that with. But he does include the knife, which is just very nice, really cool looking knife, and they do have weapon storage for it on his arm there, so I'm pretty happy about that. And the last is the amazing clone uh, commando blaster so definitely something we've been needing in the black series for a while hopefully we do get an actual clone commander pretty soon but uh clone commander clone commando that's what i meant to say but yeah it does look very nice and um just for size comparison here is the three and three quarter inch clone commander blaster so i think this blot the six inch one is a little too small i think that like look at the size comparison that's three and three quarter inch that's six inch so you can definitely see uh, the like scale difference there they're pretty close to the same and which is just insane uh, considering that one is almost double the size and uh, here's like a vertical angle here like even this is just insane how like close to the same size they are um, yeah I think this gun should have been scaled up just a little bit more and uh, you know just a little bit more accurate to <laughs> the uh, six inch scale. Anyway guys, this guy is just an amazing figure. I think all the hate for him is just like really unnecessary and overall I'm gonna give him a five out of five. I think the blaster is just a little too small and the helmet's just a little too big but other than that I think it's a pretty solid figure. Great articulation, really good accessories and uh, overall a just a really cool character to get in the Black Series and I cannot wait to get the rest of the Bad Batch and uh, especially Echo. I cannot wait to get an Echo because uh, he's definitely my favorite member, and i just been wanting any version of Echo we can get for the longest time, so I think that'd be a start, and yeah, I'll definitely recommend this figure to anybody who is uh, just a fan of the Clone Wars, Bad Batch, or uh, looking for a really solid Black Series figure. I'll see you guys in the next video.